Hey guys, what's up? It's Katie and I'm back with this quick little Act 5 series. Now I'm making this Act 5 series for a few reasons. The first one is I've gotten a lot of questions regarding Act 5 and I've actually been cutting them kind of hard to answer mainly because it was so long ago when I ran through Act 5 and another reason is I've got some new friends playing the game and there are a lot of new players out there that are looking for an Act 5 guide. So I decided to put together this series in an effort to, you know, do my best to explain and walk through Act 5 with the past, the bosses, the nodes, and basically champ information that is relevant to 2019. So for this video, I'm going to be looking at Act um, 5.1.5 overloaded. Um, I will not be going through each path um, in a video. I may do that in later chapters, but in 2019, 5.1.5 is pretty straightforward. The first thing I want to do is go over this spreadsheet here that I have created. There is a description of the spreadsheet in the description, <laughs> excuse me, there is a link to the spreadsheet in the description of the video because this is an active spreadsheet and I will be updating it as I go. And so if we look here, um, I have all the paths laid out for um, all of 5.1.5 and I have them color coded and labeled with which paths I feel are the easiest to which ones are the hardest. Now I feel that path five here is the easiest with really only nodes you have to worry about are the linked nodes and they are actually hidden champ champs, excuse me, and they are Black Bolt, Gamora and Thor. And it goes all the way up to the hardest path which I believe is 5.1.5, or excuse me, not 5.1.5, path one in 5.1.5. And these are where you get the heavily noted up champs and also the boss is fully noted because you don't take down any of the nodes. So if we look at it here, like I said, we've got them all color coded and I've added the node information. So you can go ahead and see, you know, what the boss has. Our boss is Electro here. He's got Burning a Might, Power Focus, Champion Boost, ISO Infused, and then I've got a description of the nodes right here if you wanna take a look at it. I also have a um, map here that you are completely able to download. So if you want to, there's a link here. You can go ahead and click the link, download the map and use it to your advantage. Now, if you want to make any suggestions to the spreadsheet or to the map, please leave them in the comments to this video. And as I said, I will update it as we go. So let's just go ahead here and get into 5.1.5. Most of the buffs really in the first few chapters, they're pretty straightforward, but as we get later into the chapters of Act 5, they can get to be a bit more tricky. So as I said, 5.1.5 has a few hidden champs on it. Um, they are linked to the boss, but I've shown them on the map so you can you know, plan accordingly and see what you're up against. This map is one of the easiest ones, but it does take a ton of energy with path one being the shortest and path five being the longest. But let's go ahead and look at the global node. So the global node we've got, um, we actually have two this time around again, we've got burden of might and the opponent's power gained by striking or being struck by their opponent is reduced by 15% for each buff currently active on them. Additionally, each time a buff activates, they lose 25% of their power. So you're not gonna want to bring in champs that get a lot of buffs. So a lot of the cosmic champs, they're kind of out like Angela, Venom, they're kind of out. Hyperion does okay because he's got that insane power gain, but he's kind of the exception to the rule there. And the next uh, global node you've got is Power Focus where the opponent's critical rate is increased by up to 25% based on power level. Now, most of these, these two global nodes here, they're pretty easy to deal with. Burden of Might can definitely be the trickiest because as I said, it's gonna prevent a lot of cosmic champs from being used because they gain so many buffs. And if we um, take a look at the map here, so we've got the map and you know we've broken it down to each path. So if we just go ahead and take a quick look at um, a video I have here of bringing Angela in against Kamala Khan. Now, you can see Angela's got a ton of buffs active, right? She's got a lot of buffs. <clears throat> and so she's really not gaining any power because of those buffs. Every time she gets a buff, she loses power. So bringing in most cosmic champs or any champ really that, you know, needs a buff will cause you to stay at low power. Like I said, Hyperion can kind of overcome this with his insane power gain but other than that i really wouldn't bring in a cosmic champ if you need to rely on specials 
So let's just go ahead and take a look at these others. The power node focus, it's really not a big deal. So I really wouldn't be too concerned with that. So let's go ahead and take a look at the paths. Um, you start over here. And so you're always gonna fight Kamala Khan first. And then the best way to go this is starting through the easiest path, especially if you're if you're new to Act Five. You're gonna want to go around to the outside with Act or with Path Five. So you're gonna run into Kamala Khan, Ms. Marvel. Then you're gonna come up here and go through Jane Foster and Ghost Rider. All of these are pretty self-explanatory. They're not too hard. Then you're gonna come up around here to the outside. And you're gonna go through Falcon and Phoenix. Now just watch Phoenix because she is awakened. So when she gets down to 1%, she does get the right of the Phoenix. So you're definitely gonna have to watch out for that. And then you come over here to Rogue. All right, so the first, after we move through Rogue, the first hidden node that we come across is Electra. And if we come down here, we see that Electra has enhanced special one. So you're gonna have to be careful of that because, um, her, her special can't be blocked. You can dodge that. If you can dodge that first part of her special, you can go ahead and block the rest. Although her and her special one is pretty easy to dodge. Then we move on over here to Black Bolt, who has Pessimist. And Pessimist really isn't that bad. He gains Fury, Armor Up, Health Steal, as long as they remain above X percent. And then following Black Bolt, we move down here to Gam Gam, and, or Gamora, I should say. And she's got Optimist. So if we look at the node here, she gains Fury, Armor Up, and Health Steal as long as they remain below X percent. Nothing really too bad there. And then we move on down here and we go to OG Thor. And OG Thor, whoops, excuse me, went too fast there. OG Thor has um, Strike Back, so definitely watch his power bar when you launch your special. Don't have it, let him have more than one bar of power. Uh, ideally, you want him to have no bars of power. <laughs> So definitely watch out for that. And then we move on to Star-Lord. Now Star-Lord, like Kamala Khan, you will fight every time. And Star-Lord, um, you know, doesn't really have anything special. So that's it for map one. I'm not really gonna go over map two. So if you are, this is the first time you're going through this, you definitely wanna take the outside path here. Yes, you'll use the most energy. It is the longest. However, you will take down all the nodes for the boss, which is Electro. So then moving on to the second path, again, you got path um, four here, you got Kamala Khan, Ms. Marvel, Thor Jane Foster, Ghost Rider, Iron Man, Wasp, or not Wasp, excuse me, Yellow Jacket, and then you come on over here, you get Storm, then you go through Black Bolt, so you'll take down that node, which is the Pessimist, you'll take down Gamora's node of Optimist, and you'll take down Thor's node of um, Strike Back, Star Lord, and then back to the boss. Then if we come back here to path three, which is this blue path, again, you'll do Kamala Khan, uh, Ms. Marvel. Then you'll come do Thor Jane Foster, uh, Daredevil Netflix, Hulk, uh, <clears throat> Age of Ultron Vision, Black Panther, and you'll take down Gamora's node. You'll take down OG Thor's node, and then you'll go through Star-Lord and Electro. So then we go to um, path two. So again, Kamala Khan and Ms. Marvel, then you don't, you end up going through Cap, uh, Daredevil again, or not again, but, uh, oh yeah, again, yeah, excuse me. Then She-Hulk, uh, Age of Ultron Vision again, then you go through Black Widow, be careful of her evades. Uh, if you don't have a champion with True Strike, you're gonna wanna, you know, be careful with that because she will evade. And then so you don't come, you come down here and the next, the only link node you'll take down is OG Thor's. So you'll take down the strike back node. And so then we move on to path one, which is the hardest. So let's go ahead and take a look at this video here with path one. So we start off with Kamala Khan. Um, not too hard of a fight. Like I said, you'll fight her every time. I bring in Angela here and that's really not a great option because she's cosmic and she has a lot of buffs. So she's really not gaining any power because of that burden of might uh, global node. But Angela does hit hard. So we can, you know, get the fight down pretty easily. Any champ will really do. Um, if you bring in Ghost Rider, he's gonna do really well. He can, you know, fate seal. He's got the class advantage. Um, if he's awakened, he can get that fury buff so he can make make the fight go a little bit quicker for him. But Kamala Khan, she's really not hard. Both of her specials are easy to dodge. Just don't wanna push her to the special three. Bait out those specials while you can and just go ham. 
But this, this fight here, it's really not hard. You'll fight her every time you go through a path. All right, so now we're moving on to Colossus, and this node is really not that hard. Um, Colossus here, Colossus has um, enhanced armor up, he's heavy-handed, and he has enhanced abilities. So, you know, he's going to get more, more armor ups. Um, so I decided to go ahead and bring in my four-star ghost here. I got this class advantage. Um, he may take a while to get down with the armor up. If you want to bring in a champ that can nullify uh, his armor up, that would be a good option. Any mystic that will nullify is always good. Um, or a champ that armor breaks, like Hyperion. Hyperion armor breaks, Corvus armor breaks. You'll get that mutant charge with Corvus. Um, Call Obsidian, he also armor breaks, and that'll work too. Venom with his heavy. Venom with his heavy is another champ who can armor break. So that'll help you out get rid of all of those armor ups. But Hyperion here, now I decided to bring in Hyperion here just to show that he is one of the few cosmics that I can found that I found that can maintain power in this chapter despite the burden of might and that is because he always gets that power gain buff right so even though it's going to drain your power he's still going to be gaining it back and which is always good plus you know you can build furies with your heavy so that's always good too makes him hit harder and hype can really get the job done so now we're moving on to guillotine guillotine has uh, enhanced special to enhance bleed and resonance cast resonance cascade so for those of you that don't know uh resonance cascade is basically the critical hits it increased critical hit rate by x percent so really not that bad i decide to go ahead and bring in blade here blade does extremely well against mystics plus uh, you get the bleed you get the power and then uh cap infinity war works great too um <clears throat> beware of guillotine special too because it can kind of come out of nowhere and it can do a ton of damage but any champ will really work with guillotine now ronin ronin you want to beware of his heavies uh ronin has stupefy enhanced special two and a heavy hitter so you definitely don't want to get stuck and get hit by ronin special one because if it stuns you that stupefy is going to lengthen the uh, duration of the sun, the stun, which you can see I just got clipped there with Ghost Rider. So decided to go ahead and bring in uh, Domino. Now, if you get, um, push him to his special two, you're gonna wanna try to dodge it. It can do a ton of damage, even block damage. So be careful with it. If you're not good at evading it, definitely bait out that special one. It's a lot easier to evade. But Domino is doing pretty good here, um, sort of, with my little mess up. So go ahead, bring in Hype. Hype's not terrible. Again, Hype is one of the few Cosmics that work on this node because he has the power gain. So he will be able to um, counteract that burden of might. Now, you see through his heavy, heavy-handed, he went unstoppable there. And I got caught by it because I really wasn't paying attention. <laughs> So, but Hype's making pretty good work of it. He blocked, or his special two is there is unblockable, but we got through it. So next we're moving on to Howard the Duck. And Howard the Duck is heavy-handed, enhanced fury, and enhanced armor up. So you're definitely going to want to bring in someone who can do damage over time, like Archangel here. Archangel is great for this because he can put on those neurotoxins, which helps the um, ability accuracy. So... But I kind of made a mistake here and pushed him to his special three. Now you definitely want to try to want to try and keep Howard at his uh, special one, and that'll help you out a lot. But <clears throat> go ahead and try and bring in Cap here for this round, and I take a good five hit combo to the face there, so that's always good. But Howard's special one is a lot easier to dodge than his special two, and even if you're not great at dodging a special two, which can be insanely hard at, it's still gonna do a lot of block damage. So I highly recommend keeping him at his special one and trying to bait it out and dodge that instead. It'll help you out a lot. Um, you're definitely gonna want an armor break champ for this because he does have enhanced armor up and enhanced fury. And he already starts out with so many armors. So a champ that can armor break is definitely uh, your better bet here. Corvus, he he armor breaks, so you'll not only armor break him, but once you knock him down, you'll get a tech charge, which will help you out for your missions. Um, Hype can armor break. Any champ that can armor break. Dusa can armor, armor break also, so she would be good against this, plus she would have the class advantage. Also, you need to watch out for is the Thunder Quack from Howard the Duck, because it will do a ton of damage. 
So definitely be able to parry that. All right, so now we're moving on to Karnak, and he can be a pain in the ass here because he's got physical resistance. Now he's got Enhanced Special 1 and Strike Back, so you're definitely going to want to pay attention to your power bar and his power bar when you launch your special. You don't want to have him more at, a one, at one bar of power when you launch your special, otherwise you could potentially push him to a special 3. So you want to be careful of that. <clears throat> Now, his special one is pretty easy to dodge. Um, I gener generally prefer to push Karnak to his special one, bait out that special one, over pushing him to his special two, because his special two can do a ton of damage, even block damage. So definitely want to bait out those special ones, but it's not that hard to dodge. All you need to do is dodge that first part when he goes to like hit you and then stomps down. Once he stomps down, you can run in and start to hit him, even though it seems like his special isn't over yet. So here I kind of pushed him to his special too, but I've got Ghost, so no, no worries there. All right, so now we're moving on to Dr. Voodoo, and really the only issue here with Dr. Voodoo is the Enhanced Special 2. Yes, he has Bane of Damala and Recovery, but that Enhanced Special 2 is what is going to get you. Um, I would really make sure you are proficient at evading his specials before you come in and face him. Or you can bring in someone like Archangel. Archangel made super short work of this. Now, Bane of Damala, on the other hand, makes this fight more difficult with Cosmics. But your best bet really in this whole chapter is to not use Cosmics to begin with. Uh, the recovery node will allow him to gain more health at the beginning of the fight. So you may want to like tr try to nullify with a Mystic or Heal Block with someone like um, Yondu or Civil Warrior would be good for that Heal Block if you die and have to restart. That would be my uh, game plan with it if I died and had to restart. But any champ that can put a uh, damage over time debuff, like a bleed, like Gwenpool, Blade would be good. Blade would be really good here with the uh, danger sense. So, but now we move on to Star Lord, uh, excuse me, Star Lord, and this is the easiest fight. Now you will face him every time, much like you face Kamala Khan at the beginning every time. Um, I go ahead and decide to use Black Widow here. Um, but Star-Lord's not noted, so this is super easy. I decided to bring in Angela this time around for it, and this is really not the best option. Yes, she has class advantage, but again, with that global node burden of might, Cosmics here are not that great. So if you are going to bring in a Cosmic, you're going to want to bring in someone who doesn't get a lot of buffs or who can counter that um, burden of might, that power drain, with someone like Hype who gets the power gain. So that would be a good option for it. Um, <clears throat> who else would be good for this? I mean, really any champ could take could could do this fight. Star-Lord's not hard to fight. His special one is pretty easy to dodge and doesn't do that much damage. Um, his special two will do a ton of block damage, especially that second part. So best not try to push him to that. You definitely don't want to push him to his special three. It will not end well. <laughs> but see, I did push him there to his special two. All right, so now we are moving on to the boss fight, and the boss is Electro. So he can be a big pain in the butt, especially with this path when he has all of his links up. He's got Strike Back, Optimist, Pessimist, and um, Enhanced Special One. So you're definitely going to be wary of that. You definitely want to cut him down as quick as you can. A skill champ that reduces ability accuracy is a good option for this, like Black Widow, Gwenpool, Falcon, Karnak. Archangel is great for this fight when he's got his neurotoxins up, so you could do that. Um, Omega Red is also really good for this because his tentacles bypass um, Electro's little defensive damage that he gives off when struck. So, uh, but with Pessimist and Optimist active, he will always have those buffs at the top of the fight until you get them past 75% and then the last 25%. So you're gonna be wary about that. But that's all that I got, guys. Let me know in the comments below what did you think of this video? What do you think of this Act 5 series that I'm putting out? Who would you use for these fights? Um, is there anything I missed going through this? If there is, please let me know in the comments below and let's discuss. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you guys liked what you saw and you want to see more, please remember to like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Thanks, guys. Bye.